Crafters, it's Abby. Today we're in the lab and I'm going to be showing you what it's like to raise, take care of, and set free some painted lady butterflies. If you're wanting to order some butterflies online, this is the video to tips and all things you want to know. Here's the first tip. Don't order modern butterflies. I know everyone who does this really wants them, but they spread diseases the ones online so the best thing to do if you want to raise monarch butterflies is get a milkweed plant and just wait for a monarch butterfly to lay eggs on that plant and then you can take the eggs inside and just take care of them from that but just don't order them online but hope you enjoyed the video stay tuned for day one day one is day one and these are the caterpillars they're inactive right now because they just came, but they've already grown so much and eaten so much of the food. And if you can see in there, you can see those like little web stuff. That's actually really healthy. And they're not dead, they're just inactive. And they've actually grown a lot since they got here. But yeah, that's day one. This will be their habitat for when they become chrysalises. And we put them in here. And uh, I'll show you how we do that, of course, once it happens, but you can see the pictures, that's what they're going to look like. They look like marks, but they're not. Day five. This is one of the drawers, and we don't have any um, the caterpillars starting to make their chrysalises. They just pooped everywhere. This one, there's not as much poop, they just poop on the bottom. And the caterpillars down here are just basically eating. You can see them, they're like kissing. But this one, has started its cocoon and yeah so really soon we're gonna start having more cocoons and that means more butterflies then something happened the chrysalis fell but we saved it Day seven. One chrysalis in this cup and the other three are hanging and then there's one on the top. And in this cup we have all, well, there's only four in this cup because the other one is in the other place. We have three up here that are hanging and this one, we don't know what's going on with him, um, but we can't, I think he's dying, which is sad, but we can't move him because then they would fall, so, yeah, or he's just making his chrysalis in a very odd way, I'm still not sure. I'm not even joking right now, right after I started finished filming, this happened like the other one he wasn't even in this crystals yet and like in five minutes he's already in it and like it's all just a little a little crazy <laughs> about one week later we have the first butterfly and he's leaking a little bit of red stuff but um that's normal and so we're gonna feed him in three hours because that's what it says to do until his wings are dry and that means that the other one should start opening up soon. One day later. So it's the next day and all of the butterflies have hatched except for two of them. And you'll notice that there's some blood around. And it's actually normal when they come out, they will bleed a little bit on their butts because that's, because when they're caterpillars, this part of it came off. Oh, wait, turn it around. You can see part of their body is still on it. That's normal. And that's one of them that hasn't hatched. And then there's another one over there, the dark one. So we fed them some watermelon slices because they weren't eating from the flower. And I think this one's actually drinking from the flower now. And when they open their wings, it's very pretty. And, oh, wait. See, his wings are open, he just 
can't really see him very well. There you go. See, he's very pretty. They're all very pretty. They look like they have brown wings, but actually on the inside, it's very colorful. As you can see with that guy, he has colorful wings. And yeah, so the next video, the next clip, they're, we're going to be releasing them. Or we'll be seeing these guys hatch. I'm not sure if we can catch that on video. That would be really cool, though. Three days later. The butterflies. Oh, there he goes. There he goes. He's still on my nose. There's only one left, and it's on Will's nose. <laughs> Did it tickle you? Yes. <laughs> I'm itchy on my nose. <laughs> and I don't want to squish him. You should try to put him on a flower. He likes me. Put him on a flower. I don't think he wants to leave very much. Get closer to the flower. I got it off my nose, now I can eat it. <laughs> there he goes. Well, he's not, he didn't eat it. He's like, bonus, you guys are dumb, you flew away. <laughs> he's the smart one. And he also smart that he stayed on my nose. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. You really should try to get some butterflies of your own and try this. It was a really cool experience and it was just really fun. And I liked having them land on me and then being on my nose. So you should you should try this. It's just, it's really fun. And yeah, remember to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.